your future is in your hands. Do not predict your future. Okay. Predict your future. Anything that you need at the right time, you will provide. You know what I'm teaching about? What is good for me is also good for you. Amen. And what is good for you is also good for me. Amen. What is not good for me, I will never tell you to do it. Beloved, if you know someone very well and a friend comes to you, and destroy that person's beloved. Sit down and think twice. Because that person who is destroying a brother or a sister to you, one day the same person will go out and destroy you to other people. No miracle will come without the word. And if you want to receive the miracle and you lack the word, that miracle can depart your life. In life, you can never have everything. If you know how to sing, someone knows how to dance. You are the true God. There is none Lord unto thee. Lord, we are here to thank you. We came here purposely to thank you for who you are, for your guidance, your protection that you saw us through and Lord you are still seeing us through to the Lord is my prayer and use me to touch your children use me to touch lives so that Father Lord at the end of everything we shall give you the praise we thank you for everything in Jesus mighty name Amen. You know, today it's going to be powerful. When I was sitting down, God just opened my eyes. And I saw showering. I saw rain. This month is going to be a good month. It's a month of liberty. It's a month of freedom. I said this month is a month of what? Liberty. A month of freedom. If you believe that, come on, go ahead and give the Lord a big Go ahead and give the Lord a big one. Thank you very much. Please take your seat today. I have a simple message. We've heard people saying it. Even you yourself, you do say it. What can be done? Always you open your mouth and say it. What a pastor is talking about this morning. Today I'm going to share with you a simple topic. Title authority in the name of Jesus. Authority in the name of who? I've heard people saying it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Rise up. Sorry. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. But today, all this thing we do say. There is authority attached to it. There is what authority attached to it. People just say it in the name of Jiba. They don't believe the power behind authority 
But today, after the service, you understand me very well. Now, from today, anywhere you go, any place that you see yourself, take that authority. In the name of Jesus, that the power of God is still working. What is the meaning of this authority that the pastor is talking about? It is the power to give orders and to make others do what? Obey. So anytime you mention in the name of Jesus, you are releasing a power to give orders and make others do what? Obey. All authority simply means having the freedom or ability to act is the having what when the freedom or ability to do what to act so God has given us what authority for you and I to act people does not know how to use the name they don't even know how to use the name Jesus they use the name anyhow but if you know what is touching what is back in the name you use it and use it well as we all know the team for today authority in the name of Jesus now I just want to ask you a question what is a need what is a name? A name is a word by which a person or a thing is known. When you mention my name, you know that this is Pastor Frank. So a name is a word by which a person or thing is what known we have many Jesus go to other country they call someone Jesus even Ghana here people called people known to be called what Kofi Yesu but listen to me when you mention the name because there is no authority attached to the name nothing will happen but when you mention the name Jesus when you mention the name Jesus all powers bow when you mention the name Jesus authority in heaven and even beneath the earth in the sea in the waters they bow down because you've mentioned the name in other words authority in the name means there is power or freedom in the name of Jesus shout power to me let me say right hand shout again power to me again shout again power now turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 10 we are reading from 16 to 20 let's hear the word of God 
He that heareth, you heareth me. Wa uti no, wa uti enu me ena uti eni. And he that despised you, despised me. Na niya obu abonfia no me na obu abonfia. And he that despised me, despised him that sent me. Na niya obu me abonfia, na niya osuma me no onu na obu na abonfia. It's simple. If you need power to me or authority to do certain things in life, then follow me this morning. He that hears you hears me. Jesus Christ is talking here. That he that hears me. That means you hear also my father. Why he was telling the disciples and those around all these things. He wanted them to know that as a rational human being you need authority and power to do so many things so when you hear me teaching the word of God when you hear me dividing the word of God and you follow all these teachings I'm giving you this morning it's not my own teaching but I derive everything from Christ. And when you read the verse 17, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Bible called them Septuagint. Bible called the 70 Septuagint. Other translation they will say that 72. And the 70 returned again. With joy, shall joy. Saying, I can say, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Now listen to me. All our victories over Satan are obtained by power derived from Jesus Christ. So if you see Pastor casting out devils, if you see me healing people, it's not my own power, my own anointing. I derive everything from Jesus Christ. Now, you know, when you reach this point about the, 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 the great joy, shall the great joy. Shall great joy. Those who did English small university. You can find out that joy and happiness they move in the same conduit. Joy and happiness move in the same conduit. What's the meaning of happy? You can to be happy this morning. Let me see right now. You know, this month, oh, God will bless us. You want to be happy this morning? Now, let's learn something from here. Great joy. Happy simply means enjoying or characterized by well-being or contentment. Or a state of pleasure or joy experienced both by people and by God. So the 72 men, thank you very much. The other translation says 70, 
But here Bible say what? 72. The same Bible. Luke 10, 17. Luke 10, The 72 men came back in great joy. What's the meaning of joy? Joy simply means feeling of great pleasure. Or happiness. That comes from success. Good fortune. And I said, I did a sense of well being. And I said, only a baby, I echoy a mouth. If joy, and no any a wisdom. If you want to be happy in life, the open so any G, Ewa Brabo Moa, learn these things. And in this year, sign your name. Number one, near a decline. Ignore what people say about you. Near Crawford, a cafe, and one who any good so positive. Yami was shrying. The open so any a GM. Give God a big one. If you want to be happy, once that thing is passed, let it go. Hallelujah. Amen. There are so many things that you are going to face in life. When that thing happens, let it go. Someone step on your toe. Don't think about it again. And Jim will be a little bit that are some people, whether you do good to them, and go for a while, oh, yeah, papa, they will still do you bad. Or the pony, a bit yawka. Once something is passed, let it go. And Mira, I didn't eat chemono. There are some people, beloved, you just open their mouth and put blessing to their mouth. They will still do bad things against you. But once something is passed, let it go. Do not have anything in your life. Because the thing that you have today, it can, it can drain you down. It can destroy your life. So I know that there are some certain people you, you've met someone and you've done everything for the person, for the person to rise up. But today, the person has turned to be an evil against your life. Love it. Still, still, let it go. Because if you harbor it today, it can also fight against your life. Let's move back to uh, where we started. Luke 7, 10 verse 17. Look at my eighty eight doing to me a do and so on. And the seventy return again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And your son, Eddie, and Nietzsche, and by say, Radi, and put a home bonnet on a brom was the end of demon. Demons, a home bonnet, demons, a home bonnet, and the seventy return again with joy. Now, and your son, and some by Eddie, and Nietzsche, that's what I said, always be happy in life. And it's in America, I said, Da, Brabom, no more any NGO. Let somebody be happy. Oh, come on, shall be happy. My when he NJ. Oh, come on, shall be happy. Stop thinking what you've been thinking too much. I drink in a dose, mummy and jay, I drink in and that thinking has been bringing you down. Nasa, I drink in and my woke up from stop in that marriage. Stop thinking. I worry, I'm not jay, said that I won't drink in. Go know that you need something from him. And rather, and him say, We hear BB everything in change. I'm not able to receive it. I won't say, and kind stop. Stop thinking. It will not bring you any good thing in your life. The Bible said there is seven terrible joys. Now, Johnny said, "Your son, saying, Lord, even the devils 
are subject unto us through thy name. We are learning about authority in the name of Jesus. What happened for the devil to listen to the disciples? They don't mention their names, but they mention the name Jesus. Today, as we are preaching this morning, any time you mention the name, by faith, now did you miracle will attach to it? When you mention the name Jesus, may you see a good result. May we see a good result. May we express good result. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's continue verse number, number 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Now I catch you say me who set up on some. So if they just mentioned the name Jesus, this is what happened. And he said unto them, I behave Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Mention the name Jesus. This is what happened. Now, beloved, do not be afraid of anything. In any situation, exercise authority and mention the name Jesus, beloved. I bet you things will turn around. Now, what happened? I see things happening this morning. Because of the name, I see things happening this morning. You know, when you mention your father's name, nothing will happen. And even when you mention the father's priest in your community, your hometown, nothing will happen. But I mention the name Jesus. Every name must bow. Today, I pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus. May the name of Jesus visit your family right now. Anything going down in your family as I mention the name of Jesus, I see a resurrection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. When that thing is not there, just mention the name of Jesus. And you, you see the manifestation of the power of the Holy Ghost. Verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. No se share. Mama would to me se muntietia a war any and yan yan chereso. And over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Any or town funny to me, Nara, let it be anywhere. God has given you and I what power. And Radiwa Mammy knew to me. I said it the last time, power to give ability to do something. Maka says, I can say to me, and I say, I'm queen ya now. Ability to stop the plans of the enemy. To shut the mouth of the enemy. Ability to train on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means do what Shout the name. The name. Shout Jesus' name. Yes, Christ. It carries power. Today, once you believe that Jesus carries power, may we all receive such power right now. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, give the Lord a better clap. Verse 20. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not. Ah. That the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Are you here with me? Give Papa a better clap. 
Now understand this very well. Notwithstanding in this rejoice, in this rejoice not. That the spirit are subject unto you. Say I to me. If you win a battle today, and then I could be within Kunimoa. Don't jubilate always. And when we stand before God, God will not call me Pastor Frank. God will call me Frank. When we get to heaven, there is no bishop there. And no There is no archbishop there. Bishop, archbishop God will not call you prophet. Or an evangelist. Or a teacher. And now church for God will call you by your name. So if today you will be able to cast out devils. And demons. Do not be jubilating and say that because I've been able to cast devils, I am okay. But work for your own salvation. Don't say that, Pastor. Now things are very good for me. Now, Pastor, I am okay. It's true that you are okay, but listen to me. Make sure that you work for your own salvation. And can say, Oh, so for you said, Yeah, near my year, mammy, near my air, for ye, I am no prayer, and near my air, for ye mouth. Next, one can say, Oh, quite genuine, yeah, who ate you, man. That the spirit are subject unto you. Say, I won't want to have a once in a But rather rejoice. Nemo, dear, we see, say, because your names are written in where? In heaven. Yeah, true, we did. I was right, he made me. Heaven is very, very important. I was right, he made me. And we hear, pa. We should not come here and pray God and go home without serving God. And this is a bad habit here, I hear to you, Mo, na yen sonu. Know your God and know Him very well. Mo, I ready, na who ni ye. Give the Lord a better clap. And ask yourself, am I a true believer? Am I a Christian? All the things the Lord we are doing today it's good but we should ask ourselves just one question that if we stand before God what mark what mark will you receive from God I pray prophetically that from today may you all see God and see him away God bless you for watching Positive Hour once again we invite you to join us all our meetings every Tuesday morning watch positive hour from 5 30 a.m to 6 and tuesday evening is our teaching service we start from 6 p.m to 8 p.m every thursday morning is our miracle and prophetic service we start from 9 a.m to 12 p.m and every sunday is our powerful uh two services we start the first set from 6 30 a.m and close at 9 30 and second service also starts from 8.30 to 11.30. Lord God, I pray for your children in the name of Jesus. Those who are not feeling well, let a total healing touch their life. In the name of Jesus, I pray that those who are having problems with their eyes, their head, their tummy, their leg, their hands, I pray that Satan lose your hope from their life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are in between NIB Bank and Snit Office. Opposite Universal Metro Bank, close to the footbridge. La Paz, Achimota, N1, stretch. That is where you can find Positive Gospel International Church. God bless you.